what would you have done if you were the one in this situation at a departmental store? Take a look at this. Hey, where's Michael? He's not by myself. We just bought this, Michael. You ain't got to say it, Michael, because I'm on camera. I did buy my... I'm still from TJ Maxx for it. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. What's going on? What happened? He gonna sit he there and he gonna stop us. He gonna stop us outside and say somebody called on us that we were suspicious. So I came back in with my receipt and everything on it that I bought. My Why would I steal from TJ Maxx? What is TJ Maxx? Not a goddamn thing. And then he gets in here and say nobody called on you guys. So you just said in the, he just said outside. You said, why did you stop me? You I'll said, because I'm black. He said, yeah. a black person called on you. That's so what you said. So who was the black person that called on you? Where the black, where's he at? Where's he at? I don't see nobody. We just stood in the line. And the other manager is right there. That's at that thing. Her name you is George. You understand why I'm frustrated. Oh, I understand. Because I walked out of a store after paying my money. I worked and hard for it. Listen, and I, you got, me. I got told that there's someone possibly shot. She said that we paid for this. That's why I'm here. Okay? If there's no problem, then there's no problem. No, but do you understand how embarrassing, embarrassing this, that is? Is? this is? We sat in this line. This is, you guys matter of fact, you know what? I we turn it, it off. We don't want it. We, we want turn it, it off. What else would you have done other than returning the stuff you got at TJ Maxx after being stereotyped for shoplifting? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Karen's at Taco Bell acting out over $200 worth of orders. Take a look at this. <laughs> No, I'm sorry for you guys. Don't even take the food. No, give me the food. I've paid money. Put that goddamn food. Put it down. Take the food. Hey, ma'am, please quit yelling. I'm trying to enjoy food. What's your name, ma'am? My name is Fred. What's your name? Don't worry about it. Yeah, they ordered $200 worth of food. They gave that out. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're pathetic. I'm talking my daddy in there. You feel sorry for me? My daddy owns this corporation. I swear to God. Don't tell me that you shut up. I cannot imagine that Karens were acting out simply because they were asked to pay full price for the tacos they ordered. Unbelievable. Walmart employee claims she's being harassed by a customer and threatened to call the cops. Take a look at this. Bugging me. Stop talking and listen. I'm allowed to record whatever I want. No, you cannot. Yes, I can. I can record whatever I want. What are you talking about? Just stop. Why are you in the cart? Look at my knee, man. Okay, I, I explained to you. And it hurts. Okay. Are we supposed to give an explanation you, for why he's in the cart? Are you? Did you have somebody standing on the back of it? Okay, I didn't realize that though. But I paid for my stuff. When, when I don't steal. And second of all, I wouldn't be on the cart if I didn't need it. And I'm not doing anything. Where is your cart? It's outside. Where? In the parking lot. That side or this side? I'm using the restroom, ma'am. Okay. I'll wait and I'll help you. And I have my ID. Like, there's no need for you guys to do this thing. You realize this, this is like weird. Okay. Because Here's I paid for my things. No, I paid for my things. If these aren't able to be used by a person that, I'm not. It makes no absolutely have I no sense. Have I stopped you from using it? You just told me. You just checked me like if I'm I stealing did. these things I, and I paid. No, and I'm you checking, saw my ID. I'm checking your age. You think the man didn't check it when when I ran? How would he have been able like, to it makes buy them? No sense, man. Honestly, okay. if he wasn't the twenty-one, right and it needs to be scanned. Yeah, so so that was so unnecessary. Yeah, you're just bothering me at this point. I have done nothing wrong. Will you call Coach Malik? Yeah, you should call. Oh, actually. It makes no sense. Bro, just go, bro. Just, just go, bro. Just go, bro. Just get out, bro. Let's go, bro. It makes no sense. I haven't go. done anything. Just go. I'm going to call the police. I'm not going to do nothing. Because you are harassing me. You can't. What? <laughs> yo, 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 what? We're harassing you. Yes. You don't have to be walking with us, though. Yeah, like. How are we harassing you? You know how many people are there? Yeah, no, I'm You're going to sue for what? We can sue you. For? What are you yeah, going to sue for? Yeah, what's the law on that? Do you have health benefits? Yeah. 
Who do you think is the one that is actually being harassed? Is it the customer or the Walmart employee? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. You won't believe what this woman did simply because a request for exchange of an item was not honored. Take a look at this. Goodbye. I am not leave my store, ma'am. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not the one you want to do this I'm with. Go You're back and give me a seat. Now give it to me. Leave my store. Come on. Leave my store. Stop trying to steal my stuff. Leave my store. Uh, You're too old for this. Just leave I my am. store. You are way you too old for this. Security. You're way too old for this. Leave my store. Oh, this so you're not gonna leave unless she calls security. Okay. I mean, okay. Fine. Call security. I'll tell what to do. Okay. Leave my store. You're too old for this. Really, you girl? Leave my store. I'll get to the street. Leave. Leave. What are you my doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Leave my store. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? Don't put your hands on her. Leave my sword. Don't put your hands Leave on her. Leave my sword. Where's the security? <laughs> yeah. You gotta go. Leave my sword. Do not come back here. Go. Go. Don't not put your, your hands on sword. her. Go. Do not Don't come back here. Put your hands Do not on come her. Back here. What the hell? What the hell? Grandma Karen was not having it. She wanted an exchange by all means. Unbelievable. We've got a Karen here disrupting construction workers from completing the side work job in his neighborhood. Take a look. Seven degrees. It's not gonna get about thirty seven today. How the hell are they gonna pour concrete today? Because the city spec is twenty and rising. Twenty and rising? That's the county spec, that's the state spec, that's the federal spec. And if the damn stuff doesn't hold up, what, are you going to come in and redo it again? We're going to put concrete We're going to cover it. Concrete only needs to be maintained 40 degrees for 24 hours. Start here. Concrete generates heat. So it's going to generate volume. The water that's put in there is like 180 degrees. It's not using cold water. So the truck already has hot water in it. So the concrete's coming at about 180 degrees. It only needs to maintain 40. We're going to put insulated concrete blankets on it, and it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine, even though the, the temperature tomorrow's high is only supposed to be 40, and the day after that, it's like 30. Concrete only needs to maintain 40 degrees for 24 hours. Okay, I and heard it's what you said. Fine. It will, I've done it. I've done it in sleep. I poured concrete in sleep, and it's still there, and it's fine to do Is that your house that you did it at, though, sir? I poured concrete in At my, your house my in 30 house. degree weather? Yes, I have. I just would have appreciated somebody saying, hey, on Monday, hey, Mr. Smith, Mrs. Smith, we're going to be out here on Wednesday. That's we're not, giving you a heads up. That's not how they work. They are supposed to give you it's a period of time, which is usually after the second day. Two to ten days meant the 22nd. The notice was left last Thursday. It doesn't say they're going to start on the 10th day. It says we'll you work from that second day. They gave you that notice for 48 hours. That's just kind of a lame-ass excuse. No, that's exactly how the city projects work. That's any city project, that's any county project, that's any state project. Oh, I, we I get didn't forced. ask for this BS, though. This is forced on us, and we have to pay for it. You know, you understand that, right? I have to pay for it. I had to pay for money. Uh, somebody hey, in your neighborhood. Shut up, oh, Let me no, me I heard the people. that as well, and that's BS. If I you, get that the sidewalk's got to be safe. If, I get that. I'm a homeowner. There's a, it's county record. I mean, so if you want the damage to plane, you can go to the open record. I'm so tired of the headaches. There's always a complaint. City sidewalk is okay. I want to see what person complained about all of these damn sidewalks. Yes, really. Yes, serious. Yes, and the yes. other question I have is why the hell did you guys show up a month ago when it was before? Typical of a Karen, always want to be in other people's business. Let me know what you think about the clip you just watched in the comment section. We've got a Karen in the wild. 
take a look at this. Hey, so this lady right here decides to call me gay and she, she asked me about my purse. I am gay, it's sickening. I'm sickening. So go ahead, keep going. Cause I'm a part. You don't know what it means? So you shouldn't even be over here right now. But I can assure you, I'm trying to figure out why you walking up on me. I thought you thought what? Would like somebody to hang with you. I don't need to hang with anybody. Do you see who I'm with? Nobody. It's called celebrity status. You should know about that. You are a good who? Yeah. Absolutely not. Not not saying that I'm gay. Didn't your parents teach you well? We're almost, we're almost in 2022, 23. And we're still talking about the whole gay thing? Yes. I'm gay and I'm worth more than everything that you have on right now. Okay. I don't wish anything. This is sad that I got to put you on video right now. For you acting. This, this is sad. My name's not Jason, and you do need to leave. You're making yeah, everyone yeah, yeah, yeah. all of this fella out of this and like you're being Yeah, they're inappropriate. Lisa, just, just close it. It's time to go. Right here. It's called having one too many drinks. Let me know your thoughts about this clip in the comment section. A customer called out a cashier for allegedly embarrassing her for using food stamps. Take a look at this. Hi, if you could just come over here. It's not a, It's not about any of that. I just wanted to let you know, I pay with food stamps. Okay. And I use self-checkout because I'm embarrassed that I pay with food stamps. And I want my payout method to be confidential. And, you know, there is an issue over there because I didn't realize that your self-cash registers are... They don't accept cash. I'm sorry. Your self-checkout registers don't accept cash. Yes. So I had cash today, and I had a split payment with food stamps and cash. And when I realized that I was going to have to transfer my payment over to the service desk to pay with cash, the woman, took, you know, she did the receipt. She refunded it or suspended it, gave it to me. She said, you're going to have to swipe your benefit card again and pay with food stamps at the register and then give them cash. And I felt humiliated by that. It was very humiliating. I I'd want to keep my transactions confidential, especially my payment methods. And so if you could just reiterate to her that when people have a payment method, to not shout it. It was, I felt so singled out and embarrassed. No, I, that's not anything we would ever want a customer to feel. And it, that's not the way that situation should be. Thanks. Thank you for letting us know. And that way we can go through because we wouldn't want anybody else. Yeah. To yeah. So just maybe she could say her, your card next time instead of food. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry that the, the girl's name was Emily. It wasn't her. It was a different person person with a light pale tie-dye cruise neck sweatshirt so uh, she's not oh there she is she's blonde with bangs over on the left thank you wow this woman claims that she was embarrassed by the fact that the cashier announced that she was using food stamps to pay for her groceries on the other hand she goes ahead to post the video on social media can someone please make this make sense? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Karen fled a scene of an accident. Take a look. My kid in the car, go ahead. If you want to make a long suit, go ahead. You, you just hit that car. Let me get through you and just I'll hit go inside. Car. I'll go inside. You hit her car. I'll go inside. I'll go back yep, up and I'll go inside. Fuck what you saying. Hey. She just, you just I'm hit her car. Right now. No, I didn't. You just hit her it's car, it's on camera. It's just the line. No, no, I'm going to get through and I'll go inside. Okay, but it's not that serious, it's just the line. If you I'm want, like I know, but you need to go behind, you just hit my bumper. Go, oh, hey, get, let me see. Call the police so she can, so she can get her, uh. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, you're leaving? Get her Is that what you plate. said? Get her license plate. Get her license plate. All these over DoorDash. I think Karen is too old to be DoorDashing. Let me know what you think in the comment section.